Nigel, you've promoted to League One. Congratulations. Thank what you. does it mean? Uh, just relief at the moment to get over the line. It's, uh, it's been three and a half years of unbelievably hard work by everybody players, staff, uh, football staff, non-football staff and I think to get over the line and, and in the way that manner which, in which we've achieved it this season has been has been magnificent honestly. The way that we've played, the goals that we've scored, I think we've defended well, still had injuries that we've had but we've been better equipped to cope with it uh, and I think everybody, uh, even you a little bit, deserves a huge amount of credit. Thank you. I'll not, so much, not so much you, but yeah, of course, yeah, you got that in early tonight. Um, when did you sense this season in your heart of hearts, in your moments of quiet, that this could be the year? At Colchester, last season, last game. Oh, really? I, we talked after the game and I told you I can't wait for next season. You looked at me aghast, as you do a lot of times when we talk. Uh, but I knew that we were ready. We needed a rest last summer. Uh, we got that. We got a few players in. Uh, but it was, the, I think, the business we did the previous January. Uh, I think David, when he was here, David Sharp, did some brilliant business. Uh, over the time he was at the club, I wish he was here with us tonight, uh, but he's away, but he'll be enjoying it and is as responsible as, as anybody uh, over, the, over the last three and a half years for this. But we did good business and I thought we were ready. We had a good pre-season uh, and right from the first whistle at crew, Drew 2-2 two, two on the opening day. We could have been 3 4 and up after half an hour. We weren't, but we got a good point despite having somebody sent off. Uh, so I, I think the last day of last season, I, I fancied us. And that's what I told you. You've been building, you've been improving, you've been enhancing year upon year. Just what has been the difference this season to clinch promotion to League One? It's very difficult to define that uh, other than just a, just a little bit of a general improvement all around. We knew we had to be better defensively. We did that. Uh, we had the bonus of getting Flinty in the day before the season uh, started. Then we lost Alfie Kilgore, which was a huge blow. We knew Elliot wasn't going to be back until April. Um, so I think, I think we're just enough of an improvement. And the other thing that's most satisfying is... I th we said at the start of the season as well, this is the best League 2 it's been for some time. And to go up automatic in the company of Stockport and Wrexham with their resources and everything that they have, uh, I think makes it an even better achievement. And you've done it, as you mentioned, with uh, having some key players out. Yeah, even tonight we're a little bit concerned because Accrington, you saw in the last, especially the last 10 minutes when they got the goal, they're not coming to roll over. You know, they want to try and get a result tonight and uh, to start again without the seven defenders. Uh, but I think with you know Lucas was magnificent at right back tonight. Jordan at centre half the same. Uh, I think that's been the, the difference as well because we're confident uh, in what we've done this season. Then it hasn't cost us as much as it has in previous. It's the first promotion to the third tier of English football for this club since 2002. What do you have to say about the achievement? All that we've just said, uh, I think it's brilliant for everybody to go back, to drop down into the National League, you know, conference, whatever, uh, to get back up uh, and then being pretty close. I think supporters uh, stuck with the club uh, and it's just grown in the last few years to the point where you see a full house tonight, which is wonderful and everybody enjoying it and so they should. A historic night for the town, for the club. Just finally, what do you have to say to the supporters who have backed you all season long? Not just all season, three and a half years. And we'll still go back to the Northampton one. We still talk about it. We lost 2-0 at Northampton. We came here and played Port Vale. Um, we drew 1-1, missed a penalty. And the lads were absolutely magnificent. And they gave us a standing ovation going off the pitch. That's for that sort of a time. When you think back, for that sort of support and backing, tonight's for that. We're delighted for you. Well done. We're delighted for you.